Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. Once we create the database, the next step is to create a schema and a table. So what is a schema? A schema is used to organize your objects in a database. For example, in your database, you can have employees in two different departments. For example, IT is one department and HR is one department. If you do not wish to store the details of the employees in one single table, then what you can do is you can store the employee details of people in IT department in it.employees and you can store the HR employee details in hr.employees. So now these two are separate tables and they are separated by schema. For example, IT year is the schema and HR year is the schema and all HR related data will be stored within the schema and all IT related data, the information related to IT department will be stored within the schema called IT. And the syntax to create schema is, there are actually two different syntaxes, create schema if not exist schema name and create schema schema name. And note that if not exist is optional, it just makes to sure that your code can run again and again without any errors. Now the tables are basically used to store data within your eSQL catalog and the syntax for table is create table table name. So we will go to Azure portal and create schema and table in the demo. First let's create a schema even before creating a table. So to create the schema first you need to go into the sales database because within this database I need to create the schema and again I am using the same syntax if not exist create the schema called IND. So once the schema is created next you would like to create the table. So I already have code that creates a table. So here I am creating the table called sales by month and I am creating the table within the schema called IND and that table has a certain schema and it has an index that is defined on top of your date column. Okay. So let me name the job as um, table and submit the job. So the job is successful here. So to see the table you can go into the uSQL catalog and within uSQL catalog you see a table here sales by month and if you go into the columns you will see the list of columns that this table holds and their data type. If you go into the table name you will also see the index that we had created. Thank you.